So if you've been within earshot of a TV or a radio or other people lately, chances are you've heard people talking about the Powerball. But what about the actual math behind the mania? Like any lottery game, the Powerball is a game of chance. You buy a ticket with the hopes that the numbers on your ticket will match those announced by lottery officials. And if some of your numbers match, then you win some. And if all of your numbers match, then you win big. The reason the Powerball is being talked about so much right now is because nobody has won that big jackpot prize in a long time. The money has just grown and grown and grown, making the jackpot prize, as of today, the largest in history. 1.5 billion dollars. So people are going nuts. But instead of buying into that, I decided to sit down with one of our professional statisticians here at the lab to bring all of that hype a little bit of context. As a professional mathematician, what is your opinion on the craze around the Powerball? Oh, I think it's wonderful because all of a sudden everyone cares about my opinion. Uh, normally people are not that interested in probability and statistics. They don't feel it affects their their day-to-day -day life. But when there's one and a half billion dollars on the line, all of a sudden we get really popular. Can you explain the odds of winning the Powerball for us? I mean, how likely is it that someone will actually win this thing? Uh, I'm not going to win the Powerball, and probably nobody I know is going to win the Powerball. It's exceedingly unlikely. So the way that you can think of a lottery in a probabilistic context is that there's a fixed number of possible tickets that can exist. And one, and exactly one of those tickets, is going to win. In the case of the Powerball, the number of possible tickets is about 292 million. So any given ticket has a one in 292 million chance of winning. An upper level estimate on the number of visible stars in the night sky is about 5,000. So if you go out into the country with a friend of yours and each of you pick a visible star at random, the probability that you picked the exact same star twice in a row is 10 times more likely than picking the winning numbers for the Powerball. At the same time, it is exceedingly likely that somebody's gonna win the jackpot. And that's just because there are so many tickets being sold. Of course, some of those tickets are gonna be duplicates. So there is still some chance that there's not gonna be a winner this week. It's a lot more likely that there's going to be a winner. It's actually quite likely that there will be more than one. There's a man in Florida who's won the lottery seven times. Is there a way that you can actually game the lottery and make it more likely that you'll win? Without knowing how much money he spent to win those jackpots, I can't, I can't really speak to how unexpected it is. You should also think of how many people have not won hundreds of thousands of dollars in the lottery because again, that it happens to one person does not mean that it's at all likely to happen to any given individual. So should I have bought this ticket? It's all about what the ticket is worth to you. So the lottery is best viewed as an entertainment expense. Um, what could you do that would be more fun for you than, than spending $2 thinking about winning the lottery? In my case, I don't have a lot of fun with lottery tickets because I know I'm not gonna win. Uh, so I would do things like fold it up into an armadillo with, with origami. I, I've been known to do that with loose change. I would like to mention that probably in statistics are actually exciting and there's a lot going on uh, with it at, at all times. And there are in fact other billion dollar and hundred million dollars in probability and statistics that you will find if, if you work in industry or at a place like a national lab. It's something that is really key to the technology that we work with and understanding that technology and understanding risk. There, there is a lot more going on if you get kind of curious about probability and statistics starting with the lottery and, and you just enjoy the mathematics of it and kind of playing with it as a thought experiment then there is a, a glorious world of mathematics that is open to you. What are some other ways that you think you could use your math skills to solve everyday problems? What are some other math questions that you have for Livermore scientists? Leave your answers in the comments below and take a look at these other videos to explore more of the awesome research that goes on at the lab every day. So really, the geese have been very talkative today. Geese. So many geese. Didn't you migrate already?